I'm at the far right end of the building, Suite D. I don't think there's any work associated with removing this wall, but uh, Pam does have a request to remove storefront and recreate three dock doors. There's actually five. <clears throat> Once all this office space gets ripped out, you'll notice that the doors and the track on this plan right end of the space are still in place. The dock bumpers outside are still in place. Uh, but basically this whole office gets torn out. And a much smaller footprint of a make ready space is built back according to the plan. T on the floor. These ceilings are 10 foot. Everything else so far has been 9. Piping, though it's already dropped down, we'll have to get cut back to the downsized office space. I think all the lighting in the make ready space is getting removed or uh, upgraded to T5s in the warehouse. New T8s for the new office space. Everything else is trashed. You know, all the lights, all this office space getting ripped out. If I haven't mentioned it, the deck height is about 25 feet, 26 feet here in the front. Maybe a little less in the back. But notice the electrical service on this wall that is scheduled to be demoed. Not just this one, but... This demising wall gets ripped out part of base bid. And then I think right there at that loading dock door is where the demising wall goes up along this column line for separating American Tire to my left and vacant space make ready to my right. So down that way would be the vacant make ready. And as you come through this door, this is the suite uh, B, I think it is. I wonder if that's the building electrical room. looks like it. I'll try to get in there. They do want the utilities separated. Uh, American Tire on its, one, on its own service and everything else on their own. Of course this space will be vacant by the time we start phase two and make ready space. <laughs> 